welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to share with you how I apply makeup on my hooded eyes. Oftentimes I try to recreate beautiful eye looks that I see on YouTube, Pinterest, and Instagram, but it doesn't come out looking the same way on myself. And the reason is because we all have different eye shapes and eye makeup will look different on everybody based on the shape of their eyes. So keep watching because I'm going to share with you some of the tips that I've picked up along the way. Let's get started. Identifying if you have hooded eyes is extremely simple. First, you need to look straight into a mirror and see if you have extra skin laying on top of your eyelids. If so, you will notice that when you have your eyes open, you will barely see your actual eyelids, depending on how hooded your eyes are. In my case, my left eye is more hooded than my right eye. A quick tip when starting your eye makeup is having your mirror slightly tilted backwards, as well as your head, in order to see the placement of your eyeshadow. You don't want to close your eyes at any time when you are applying product. I'm starting off by priming my eyelids with the MAC Prep and Prime 24 hour extent eye base. If you have hooded eyes, it is extremely important that you prime your eyes before placing any shadows on top. This will prevent any creasing throughout the day and you won't end up with the shadows from your lid on your hood. The next most important thing is setting your primer with a light neutral shade. My go-to color is Ludwin from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. The reason why this is an important step is because the primer is a cream and by placing an eyeshadow on top, you will then be blending out shadow on top of shadow rather than a shadow on top of a cream, which will result in a streaky mess and it won't allow you to blend seamlessly. I am placing this peach shade with a Sigma E38 diffuse crease brush on the hood of my eye and I'm blending from inner corner to outer corner and in circular motions. You want to apply this color above your natural crease so that it gives you the appearance of a lifted eye and creates a gradient effect. Now I'm picking up this brown shade with a Sigma E25 blending brush and I'm placing it on my outer corner. I personally love this brush because its shape fits perfectly in the socket of my crease. I like to use the tip of the brush and place it exactly where I want to start applying product. As I'm placing this brown shade on my outer corner, I'm making sure to blend in circular motions and sweeping towards my inner corner. I'm taking this cream color with a Sigma E55 eye shading brush and packing this color all over my lid. I want to make sure this color blends perfectly with the brown shade I just applied. Then I go back with the brown shade and build up the intensity on my outer corners. I am using Shimma Shimma from Makeup Geek to highlight my brow bone and my inner corners. By applying a shimmery shade, you are creating an illusion of a bigger eyelid. It also makes your eyes look wide awake. I'm taking the same brown shade I used earlier on my eyelid and lining my outer lower lash line with a Sigma E65 angled brush to create depth. Then, Using this lighter brown shade with a Sigma E30 pencil brush, I am smoking out my lower lash line. I am using the Sephora Contour Matte Gel Eyeliner in all black everything and tight lining. Please excuse my zombie eyes. Using a waterproof pencil like this one is key, especially with hooded eyes because you want the color to last and not smear. The purpose of tight lining is to give the illusion of a fuller lash line. After that, I am taking the MAC Studio Chromographic Pencil in NC15 and gliding the pencil back and forth on my waterline. This light beige tone will give the illusion of bigger and more youthful eyes. You will definitely want to curl your lashes before you apply mascara. This will make your eyes look wider and give you the illusion of longer lashes. I am using the Stila Extreme Lash Mascara and coating my lashes. I am in love with this mascara because it is a true black and it makes my lashes look very intense. Then I use the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara for my lower lash line. I prefer to use this mascara on my lower lash line because the wand is super thin and it makes my life a lot easier. So to finish up this look, I am applying the Kiss Look So Natural Lashes. You want to make sure that the style you're reaching for start with short hairs and gradually get longer. 
Also, a huge step you cannot forget to do is measure the lashes against your own and trim them wherever your natural lashes end. For the most part, eyelashes come in a standard size, and if you have a small eye, you definitely need to trim them. So those were my tips on how to apply eye makeup on hooded eyes. Let me know if you would like to see more of these tutorials focusing on hooded eyes. If you like this video, then give it a thumbs up. It only takes a second. And if you liked me and you want to see more of me, then please subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Ciao!